A journalist at all times should defend the freedom of the press and other media in relation to the collection of information and the expression of comment or criticism. So any readers or viewers have to be informed if there are any restrictions on reporting. Point three. A journalist shall strive to ensure that the information he or she disseminates is fair and accurate and to avoid the expression of comment and conjecture as established fact. Shall rectify promptly any harmful inaccuracies, ensure that correction and apologies receive due prominence and afford the right of reply to persons criticised when the issue is of sufficient importance. 5. A journalist shall obtain information, photographs and illustrations only by straightforward means. A journalist shall do nothing which entails intrusion into private grief and distress. Point 7 of the Code of Conduct says that a journalist should protect the confidential sources of information, such as Bill Goodwin, who risked imprisonment rather than reveal the sources of his information. Point 8 of the Code of Conduct states that a journalist shall not accept bribes, nor shall he or she allow other inducements to influence his performance of his or her professional duties. A journalist shall not lend himself or herself to the distortion or suppression of the truth because of advertising or other considerations. A journalist shall only mention a person's race, colour, creed, illegitimacy, marital status or lack of it, gender or sexual orientation if this information is strictly relevant. A journalist shall neither originate nor process material which encourages discrimination, ridicule, prejudice or hatred on any of the above mentioned grounds. A journalist shall not take private advantage of information gained in the course of his or her duties before the information is public knowledge. They shouldn't use their professional reputation to sell or endorse products. Oh. <laughs>